Welcome once again. Right now we're at Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. God's love for the saints. Paul said, For this cause, or for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, that you may be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner person, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, to the end that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be strengthened to comprehend, to understand that is, with all the saints, what is the width and length and height and depth, and to know Christ's love, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all of the fullness of God. Don't forget, Paul wrote this letter to the saints in Ephesus. This is not written for any common sinner in the world. And in context, this is not even really written to us specifically. Paul wrote this letter as a personal letter to the saints in Ephesus about 2,000 years ago. He's talking about the love of God, the love of Christ, that they would know the love of Christ. Again, taking this in context, This is a letter to the saints, not to the sinners. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the assembly and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Seek him while he may be found because there is a time coming when he won't be found. And if you seek him, if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.